Hey, welcome back everyone with your 11 a.m. update on several systems in the Atlantic. The tropics have really gotten uh, heated up here. And for those of you tuning in for newly formed tropical depression number nine, I'll be right back with you. But first, we need to give you an update on Hurricane uh, uh, Fiona. So just look at the big picture first. You can just see where everything is. So here is uh, Major Hurricane Fiona. Tropical depression number nine, but first let's zoom in on Fiona. You can still see a well-defined, well-defined satellite presentation indicative of a major hurricane. Bermuda is right here, so it's passing just north of Bermuda. Their conditions should be on the improvement for the rest of the day. Now, where in terms of where Fiona will go over the next se several days, uh, turning more towards the north and unfortunately impacting Atlantic Canada with some pretty substantial impacts uh, this weekend. The red area is areas under a hurricane warning, meaning hurricane conditions are expected. The blue area here, tropical storm warning, so tropical storm conditions are expected. And for you here in Canada, you really got to wrap up your preparation by sundown today. So if you're, call if you're watching us from Canada, uh, please go ahead and wrap your preparations uh, soon. Uh, switching gears, uh, we've talked about this all week, and it, it may not be intuitive why we have to talk about this, but with a major hurricane like this over the open waters of the Western Atlantic, it churns up the seas substantially, and those waves then propagate to the, the west and strike the east coast of the United States, producing substantial rip current risk. And you've seen this map all week, and it's gotten substantially more red on here. And now, basically, the entire East Coast is at a high risk of rip currents. So please, if you're going to the beach this weekend, it'll be blue skies, nice conditions, but the rip current risk will be substantial for everybody basically along the east coast of the United States. So check local surf conditions, please, before you enter the water. Now, a lot of you are tuning in probably to hear about newly formed, newly formed tropical depression number nine. And this is a big IR picture, so you can see where you are proximity to the continental United States. And if we zoom in here and look at the visible, we've talked about this all week. It was the absence of a low level of circulation that really prevented us from initiating advisories because the predictability was so low. Now you can see that a low level circulation has in fact formed persistent showers and thunderstorms. This is what fuels the system. And so now we can go ahead and initiate a forecast for this system. And you can see why the predictability has, has improved by waiting for it to actually form. Earlier in the week, there were some models, I know you were all looking at them, there were some models that showed a substantial threat in the western part of the Gulf of Mexico. Those scenarios don't seem as likely now. It now appears that it will be in the eastern Gulf of Mexico where we'll see the greatest threat of a hurricane, most notably Florida. So I'm a Floridian too, so I'm gonna to speak to you candidly. Don't panic. We are still in the early stages of this event. This is a five-day cone. This is the five-day forecast. So we have some time. That said, if you are watching us from Florida, and I practice what I preach, I did it last night, you really need to start going through your hurricane supplies, making sure you have everything on hand. You know, pull, it, pull out all of your emergency supplies, make sure you have everything that you need on hand. Top things off if you need to, make sure you're ready to go. So fill up your cars with fuel, get all situated uh, for a possible, a possible event. This is the cone that shows where the center, the center is forecast to go, not the impacts. So don't get too infatuated on the cone over the next couple of days. Generally speaking, the depression is going to move off to the west-northwest over the next day or so, most likely becoming a tropical storm, at which point it would acquire a name. Then turning more towards the north, moving over really warm waters here in the northwest uh, Caribbean Sea, uh, crossing western Cuba, and then potentially impacting Florida. Unfortunately, it could impact Florida as a major hurricane. Category 3 is the current forecast. But again, we have a lot of time. This forecast can and will evolve. For those of you going into the weekend, you're, it's very, very, very important, we're all active on the weekends, that you not tune this out. You've got to check back for updates daily because this forecast 
can and will evolve. In terms of timing, in terms of timing, this is a timing graphic. This is, think of this as when you should have everything completed, done, wrapped up in terms of preparation. Florida Keys, South Florida, you really need to be done by sunset Monday. Let me say that again. Preparation in the Florida Keys, South Florida, really needs to be completed by sunset Monday because conditions could overtake, start spreading over the area overnight Monday or, or Tuesday morning. So have everything bundled up as you go into the weekend. You now know how much time you have to execute your hurricane plan. So think about that. For, for North Florida, if, if our impacts were to spread that far north, it would be more likely to come late in the day on Tuesday. So I want to end with this. Um, it is important that you take this threat seriously and begin to execute your hurricane plans in a calm and orderly fashion while there's still time to get ready. Don't panic. There's still a lot of time. Just move through your hurricane plan slowly and calmly. Also rest assured that we'll be providing you constant updates, including this live briefing, every day at this time. If necessary, we'll start doing two-a-day briefings. But for now, we will see you right back here at the same location at the same time tomorrow. And that is it from the National Hurricane Center.